Hello all, I am Ayush Gupta and currently I am a final year student of BTEC ECE at NIT Great Noida and I am a design and verification trainee at Pine Training Academy of BLSI and Embed Systems. So in this video, I will be sharing my overall experience at Hyundai Mobis and how I got into it. Before jumping to the selection procedure, let's look at what Hyundai Mobis is and what it really does. So the name Hyundai is not new for all of us, right? And we all know that Hyundai is one of the major car manufacturers in the world. And Hyundai Mobis is its sister company that serves Hyundai. Uh, basically, it takes their research and development projects. And Hyundai Mobis has its headquarters in South Korea and uh, four overseas research centers. And one of them is in Hyderabad, India. So let's look at the areas for, uh, for what it serves. One of the major areas that it is currently uh, the company is currently working on is the driver assistance system and the convenience features that you see on the dashboard basically the uh, work role of hyundai mobis is uh, almost each and every feature that you see on your hyundai car on the dashboard basically is uh, very likely to be developed in one of the r d centers that hyundai mobis has across the world and they develop the features like electronic control system, the things that uh, like from uh, the push button start system to the airbag system and the braking systems, everything. These are some of their uh, R&D visions and that's all uh, about the Hyundai Mobis company. So it is a really like very good place to work upon and learn about the uh, automotive technology basically. So, yes, so let's jump on to the requirements and the benefits of joining Hyundai Mobis. So let's look uh, at the recruitment procedure. Hyundai Mobis uh, came at our college at with a CTC of 5.5 and a service agreement of three years job location was Hyderabad. De uh, designation that they were offering is graduate engineer training and after the training period of one year almost uh, the recruited candidate will be promoted to the position of research engineer and the year gap that they asked was not for not more than two years and the benefits also i have mentioned you can have a quick read also the eligibility criteria was 70 uh, percent throughout including schooling diploma and btech so the, uh, the, there were several stages for the recruitment. First one was online test and this online test was, I would say, not that easy. They asked pretty good questions from C programming and there were questions from microprocessors and microcontroller. There were questions, uh, two to three questions from control system and there were questions from uh, English as well. The test was not like very simple. It wasn't that hard to, but yes, like you should have the in-depth knowledge for clearing this test. And the time duration was very concise that so that you, when the candidate giving the test cannot cheat, right? And then there was a technical interview that lasted that lasted for about an hour and he tested all the knowledge that 
I gained throughout my BTEC in the field of electronics. And uh, he also gave me one false question and tested me whether I could I could really identify the that the question had something wrong in it. And basically, he when I uh, pointed out that I don't think this is a is the correct question, then he frankly told me that I was testing your can-do attitude. Like, आप हार तो नहीं मान जाते हो मुश्किल क्वेश्चन देख के. So that was that. And the third round was of uh, was a panel discussion round. Basically, we were given a list of topics, and we had to choose from that topic and present in front of a panel. So I chose uh, I chose the topic uh, introduction to SPI and UART communication protocols, and I presented it. It uh, the time limit was five minutes, but uh, I got so much into the presentation that uh, my I gave it for like straight twenty minutes. and i explained everything uh, like pretty much everything that he didn't ask much of the much questions from uh, the topic um, and the only thing he asked about like what is baud rate and all because that wasn't something i explained during my presentation and rest he said that you have explained everything so i don't have any further questions then the list came uh, and the hr round was scheduled on uh, for the same day then there was a, a psychometric assessment and it was a non elimination round i guess so that was all for uh, the online test speci uh, specifically for the c programming section i will uh, i will really uh, recommend the book uh, Exploring C by uh, Yashwan Kanetkar. It uh, tests your knowledge and uh, it has really good explanation for various concepts that uh, generally people don't know. So, and as far as the technical interview is concerned, they try to test the uh, basics. How good are your basics? like uh, he asked about my favorite subject so i um, named digital electronics and electronic devices so he started with electronic devices and he started with the uh, bjt not bjt he started with diodes and he asked everything like what is diode how it works and uh, various uh, processes of their breakdown like uh, uh, avalanche breakdown and then he got into uh, mos and uh, several other transistors and he uh, was really into ask uh, like he wanted to test my basics and he like most of the interview was a pen and paper interview he gave me several things and uh, told me to draw it and then explain it and then uh, for the like for 40 for about 40 minutes he uh, he took interview from electronic devices subject and then he came on to the second one digital electronics and he asked questions from kmap and um, he asked me to draw some circuits like not traditional circuits that you uh, that you will see on morris mano or something and like he asked me to draw uh xor gate from by using and xor gate by using and gates and this was the question that was uh, that wasn't possible and i kept trying for about 10 minutes and then uh, like i pointed him out that sir i think something is wrong with this question and i don't think that this is possible so he said okay uh, use not gate but not too many so uh, by using not gate and and gate i draw the i uh, drew the xor gate and then he told me that i was just testing your can do attitude the question was wrong um and then there was hr round he asked about my family background and all so it was a like go ahead and take the psychometric assessment so that was all
overall experience was good and hyundai mobis is not something that will like asani se aap yahan pe nahi ja sakte ho jab tak unless and until aapke basics bahut clear na ho so i'll rec- strongly recommend that uh, basics clear rakho and book a uh, c ke liye aap ye yashwant kanetris ki uh, exploring c and for digital electronics aap follow kar sakte ho uh, digital electronics by anand kumar that's all